What's going on YouTubers? Welcome to another video. Uh, before we get to the main purpose of the video, just want to let you know, Ganondorf has been sold, shipped off to a new home. So I'm going to be returning him down there shortly because, you know, Kratos Bust will probably be arriving in a few weeks or whenever, uh, but month likely. But yeah, we need the space for Kratos Bust and I just moved him there for now, but eventually, of course, that'll be Last of Us Dial. Uh, so yeah, I did want to talk today about a new PO that just went up. So let's check it out. All right, so let's check this out. This is by Kintsu Kuro, who, you know, I've received a few of their statues in the past. The Link uh, on Epona, as well as the Kid Link. They just made a one-fourth scale, and I think it's only one-fourth. Yeah, one-fourth, 65 cm tall, 60 cm width, 55, so it's a Pretty good size. You know, 1,257 shipped on Kyle Land. But the very first Link versus Ganondorf Ocarina of Time. Check out this base. You know, from the final battle in Ocarina of Time. Comes with this gold plated sea away. So it's quite an interesting statue. It's obviously very dynamic mid battle. Ganondorf is trying to punch Link with, like, a power punch from what it looks like. Base looks pretty cool. This pose is quite unique. It's like, there's no angle you can see both characters. Yeah, that Link, I'm not a fan of that face, if I'm brutally honest. This is the first time I'm seeing that face, and I do not like it. Hmm. The general sculpt looks pretty good. I'd probably change the textures on that green. You know, yeah, that face I do not like. Ganondorf. It's okay. You know, I like Dreams Ganondorf. Like, you know, Ocarina of Time Ganondorf better than one I have on PO. Again, these textures should be finer in my opinion. They're too... Too big, I think they should be finer. And he has kind of electricity coming out of his hands, which, you know, he did use electricity. But here's the problem. So if that's the main look of the statue, you're only getting a side profile of each face, a giant cape, his back and his back. The base is decent. You know, it's like that's the glass from when they were fighting some of the stuff he was on and just... I don't know, I, I don't like the, the pose choice. You know, there's that light up features you saw. Look at the base, lights up, that's the light off. There's no good angle to view any of these pieces. Like you look at this angle, you just can't see Link. You can see Ganon much better, but not Link. Like that's not a bad uh, profile view of Ganondorf. It's just Link you can't see, like you're just seeing the back part. The price is decent. You know, I feel like they got the sizing correct of Ganondorf to Link because, you know, Ganondorf is massive compared to Link. I don't like the textures on his cape. It's decent. I don't know. I wouldn't buy it myself. I, go I mean, I'm sure we're going to see a much better one come out probably by Dream. I just feel like this is rushed, probably to get the first one to market. You know, like, they need to fix that face, they need to fix the textures, and frankly, I would just change the pose. At least change the pose on Link, so you can visually see them better. You know, like, that isn't bad, but you gotta somehow fix Link to where you could see him better. And the base feels too small for how big the statue is. I'd make the base bigger change Link's pose so you could actually see him. If you know what I mean. You know, because it's just hard to see him. You know, it's like one character's looking down, one's looking up. They're both at weird angles. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not the hugest, biggest fan, if I'm brutally honest. For 1257 bucks, I would definitely pass. I do like Kenzu Kuro, but, you know, of the three Zelda-making companies, 
they're probably my least favorite, if I'm brutally honest. The other one, you know, you got Wake Studios, who have been making some pretty, you know, cool looking Zelda stuff. You know, check out some of, like, you know, the recent Wolf Link it sold out. They just came out with this Zelda, you know, which this one's pretty cool. Check this out. You know, this is, they did it in one sixth and one fourth. But, you know, this is from Tears of Kingdom. She's holding the broken Master Sword to give it to Link from the past. And then there's the golden dragon she eventually turns into. Spoiler alert. I like this one. I think this is pretty badass. She's also crying. You know, which I'm not a huge fan of crying faces. I, I would give a swap out portrait. That one's pretty cool. Like, I think the sculpt is solid. They've made a bunch of statues. Like, who would want this? Like, I have no idea. I mean, there's a lot of these that I'm just like, who would want that character? Uh, this Kid Link is okay. Never a huge fan of that one. I do like their sculpts. I think their sculpts are better than Kintsukaro. Their scaling is the same, where it's kind of like that first four figure scaling or, you know. But for me, I still think Dream Studios is by far my favorite. Although their scaling is like overscaled, like ridiculously big heads. I don't think any of them got the right scaling. I can't even find them. Dream. I know all their products pretty much sell out. Yeah, like they, the more recent pre-order was this link. It's crazy how many Zelda statues we're all of a sudden getting. Yeah, like the Ganondorf here. Check this one out. You know, this one, the one fourth is sold out. You know, you'll see sold out. Although it does say eight available. I don't know if that's accurate. But as you can see, you know, like the sculpt on this, the textures, like look at cape textures, much finer. Like that cape looks so much better. You know, like right now, I've sold that, so that's kind of like what I'm getting. And then the idea is to hopefully get the Princess Zelda adult version. Yeah, but I like that Ganondorf much better. I think it's much more accurate to the game and just looks better sculpted. And, you know, Dream also has really solid paint apps. But this is definitely much better. Same with that Link. Like, both this Link and Ganondorf is miles better than the Kintsukaro diorama version. Yeah, so for me, you know... This, you can see the character fully, the sculpt and paint are better. The bases are fantastic. You know, I just sold my Ganondorf, so this is the one I plan to get as of right now. You know, with the Link, most likely I'll definitely be keeping both. And I'll still keep my current Link, the, you know, one I have right now. The one Link to rule them all from Twilight Princess. I don't plan to buy any more uh, Link's as of right now <laughs> uh the only other link i would consider is a blue one you know and if i did blue i'd get the blue bust you know from breath of the wild tears of kingdom all right folks so that's what i wanted to go over with you guys did want to give you a quick update uh sume frieza finally hit customs it arrives thursday so tomorrow for you guys so you'll see that video friday it's gonna go right there uh so that will be fantastic Freaking fantastic. I seriously am so excited to get that. Uh, oh, Jupiter. I've been waiting a long time for that. And I've been wanting the definite Frieza statue for the longest time. You know, and for the longest time it was KD, but KD effed up big time on the colors on that Frieza. The sculpt, solid. I didn't like the fact he didn't do the arms completely wide because I liked that pose choice. After Sume, I would say Prime 1 is the definite Frieza. And I really do like the Prime one. And if I was to get a second Frieza, it would be that. However, we are sticking to only one villain. You know, one villain. And really, one of each character outside of, you know, like, obviously Vegeta, you need Majin and Saiyan armor. And then Z-Warriors kind of has everyone, so we're, but it's sort of like a single statue. We really only have two Vegetas. Goku, I mean, if you want to count that, that to me is more of a Gohan statue. But we technically only have one Goku statue, like single Goku. 
Where Vegeta, he gets two because he's my favorite. Everyone else gets one unless they're part of a diorama or the Z Warriors. Also, uh, J&D Wonder Woman uh, took, I don't know why, uh, but the distributor that Secret Compass was using, like, you know, he ships directly himself from Colorado, but then he also uses, like, other companies that ship for him. They took forever to ship J&D Wonder Woman, but she's finally arriving today. He had to get on them, like, dude, why are you guys not shipping? So, yeah, she's going to arrive. So, for right now, we're going to put her there. I can't move that until my hand is healed if we want to try this over there and do the J&D girl and in infinity wall. So I may try that. I'm going to first Photoshop it on my tablet and see how I like it. But for right now, we're going to put it there. We're going to move him there. Although resin GK was telling me he's just going to DHL airship my uh, dark side bust. So if that's true, we could have it next week. He says it's already shipped. He's waiting on tracking. Uh, so Dark Side Bus could be arriving next week, along with the Mark 43, which I'm going to try the Mark 43 in a few different spots. One, just behind Captain Marvel, where that Captain helmet is. See how I like it there. Additionally, we can try it here. See if I can somehow move Hulk a little bit to the upper right, him to the left, and put it like behind in the middle. You know, I, I, would tr I need to see how big the base is. But that's one option is right with him. But yeah, so if all goes according to plan, we'll get Dark Side Bust, Mark 43, Sume Frieza, J&D Wonder Woman, all within this month. Those would be all the remaining statues. Of course, Dark Side Bust is one I want the most, then Sume Frieza. Dark Side Bust, I think, is going to be absolutely insane. And I'm very excited for that. You know, after seeing all the photos, I was like, dang, that is sick. So, yeah, very excited to get it. Anyways, folks, that is it. Like, comment, subscribe. Have a great day.